What's going on, YouTube? Tom here, and once again, I hope y'all are staying warm, because the good news is, here in Florida, I think our winter has passed. Today, it is actually a nice, warm 57 degrees. Y'all can't see right now, but I am, in fact, wearing shorts and flip-flops again. My arms are still cold. I'm from Florida, so I'm always cold. Anyway little update on the Mustang. I just want to give you all since I feel like yes I've been talking about it for a while and people are like well I just ordered it already. The deposit is in. It is in fact officially as of this Friday it is on the way. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the buying experience. Let's talk about dealerships once again. Some of y'all know I just I don't like dealing with them and I went and bought this Mustang. Well, it's not here yet, but... God, just the, the things I had to deal with just to get it. Oh, some of those things just drove me nuts. I, I took up some people's advice and did the thing where you contact multiple dealers, all trying to see who could get me the best price. I went into some Facebook groups. I had dealers out of state reaching out to me, making me offers, and... Let's just say, it, it's been nuts. Before I get into too much detail about it, I, I just want, I want to sh share with you all one of the stories. So, explain how this happened. I call up one of the dealers, actually went in in person, and, well, I'm just going to do a little, little quick reenactment of how this went. <laughs> Local car dealer in town. We beat any dealer's price guaranteed. So yeah, hi. I'm looking to order a new Mustang. 2018. Yep, want it race red, performance package. Yeah, see, we, see, we, we, we can beat any price in town. We can, we beat it, we crush it. We beat the competition with a stick. We crush them hard. We get there, we go so low. We, no, no, you see, you, you, you take advantage of us when you do it. We make the best price guaranteed. You want any car, we'll beat the price. We'll beat it hard. Oh, oh, okay. You, you'll, you'll beat their price. Okay, I, I, I get it. Okay, so here, here's their price. I got, I got a price from them, and, and I deal out the door. Okay, what, what, what what's, can you beat the, their price? Okay, I'm gonna have a price quote for you in about 20 minutes. I'll let you know what we can do. Two hours later. Whoa, whoa, I, I, I can't beat that price. <laughs> We're not gonna make any money on that, are you crazy? Okay, I'll, I'll let you know what the best we can do is. Oh, okay, you can't beat the price. What is the absolute best you can do? I just want to know. I want to come to you all for service. I just want to know. I, can, I believe I'm going to the same dealer for service. You are closer to me. What's the best you can do on the price? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, no. Best we can do, we're gonna do about two thousand dollars over that price. That price, it's it's a scam. I mean, <laughs> they're gonna rip you off or something. There's something they're not mentioning there. If that's that, that, that's to be true, I mean, yeah, yeah, they must be just uh, take them up on that offer. If, they, if they're if they're not lying to you, you better take them up. That that that's a, sounds like an offer. Okay, I I I think I think I've heard enough. Uh, yeah, have have a good day. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, they just, they were not willing to make a deal that that's pretty close to what happened. And realistically, all the other dealers, it's been the same thing. The fact I had to call that dealer multiple times just to even get them to make a number. I had a dealer, I made this order on Friday, and I had another dealer just call me on Saturday asking me if I'm still interested. It's like, you know, I've been going through y'all for two weeks now. Y'all called me first two weeks ago. And said you'd get me an offer in 20 minutes, and you never made the offer once. So, y'all just lost the sale because you wouldn't actually get me the number you said you'd get me. So, it's your fault. But, let's talk about some of the ways to kind of try to mitigate 
the suck on buying a new car, how to order it effectively, what, what you should do. So number one, the price you should pay on the car realistically should not be MSRP. It should be closer to the invoice price. Now, if you're new to buying a car, invoice is effectively what the dealer pays for the car. Or at least what they say they paid for the car. The reality is they might even pay less, but it's a safe bet to assume they paid invoice. Invoice would be the maximum price. Now, the way the dealer works is they pay they get they pay the invoice to the car company, and then when they sell the car, the car company then gives them a three percent kickback. It's okay, saying, hey, you sold the car, we give you a little money, and that's the dealer profit. If the dealer sold every single car at invoice, they would realistically make that 3% profit. Of course, invoice does not include the sales tax, the tag title, fees, and everything. And of course, what's the first thing a dealer does? Number one, they try to tell you how they still need to make money, they need to pay way over in, you need to pay way over invoice, then they try to sell you extras, and we all know how that happens. Well, how that goes. Gap insurance, wheel and tire insurance, rock and ding, yada, 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 all the other bullshit. You don't, don't ever get any of that. So anyway, how do you know what invoice is? Well, of course, you have to go find it online. Now, there are three websites I like to use to find invoice. Now, the reason I like to use three is because sometimes one might be a little higher or lower than another. Basically, go to Kelly Blue Book, Go to Edmunds, and you go to Black Book. And I'll be putting links to all three of those in the description, so y'all can check that out if you're looking to buy a new car. Now, at least for Ford, it's pretty honest. They were all pretty consistent with each other. They were all the same price for invoice, and I knew what I, so I knew what invoice was. Yeah, you put in your spec and everything, and it gives you a price. Well, and of course, you take that to the dealer. They kind of give you a fair price to pay. Now, realistically speaking, you can even do better than fair price, and you can still come out ahead. And, well, they, you know, that's a good way to start. Dealers, of course, immediately, like I said, they immediately try to tell you, well, they can't make money at that price. You know, then they say, well, that doesn't include all this other stuff, so... Of course, dealers are going to try to inflate the price. What I like to do is I tell them I deal out-the-door price. They know what that means. Because out the door, I'm saying, give me the price, including your, your dealer fee. Even though, realistically, you shouldn't pay dealer fees, they're still going to want you to pay it. I make them included in the price, just so they know. Like, if you really want your dealer fee, you better put it in your price and calculate for it. Give me the, the sales tax. Give me the tag and title and all that. Give everything to me all in one shot. Don't, don't give me a price. And then start including a market adjustment or markup or whatever. Give me the out-the-door price. Anyway, you deal with out-the-door. You don't deal in price before tax. Now, of course, all the websites deal with it. So find out what sales tax is in your state. Find out what the tag title and fee. And if the dealer really doesn't want to let it go, put in the dealer fee. But, yeah, and, and go with that. Make, make him an offer that includes everything. Because they're already likely... To realize that. Another thing is, don't start with a high price. Start with a really low price. Make them some stupidly low offer that legitimately they won't make money on. And make them come up from there. Because don't start with invoice and hope for them to come down. They'll, they'll meet, they'll want to do, they always want to do the meet in the middle trick. And therefore, start with something stupidly low. So they'll be more likely to meet you in the middle and invoice. And already right there. You're more likely to have a good price. Now, another one is TrueCar.com. Famous one. You've probably seen it on ads. I'm not trying to say I'm sponsored by them or anything. I'm not. That's actually who I used. I actually went through PenFed and did the PenFed car buying service, which happens to have TrueCar. Now, TrueCar, they run a lot of television ads, and they claim how it's hassle-free price, all this. Well, there's a reason not every dealer even participates in it. And if you're a member of AARP, AAA, I think even does it now, USAA, and PenFed, all of these big credit unions, they all have a car buying service attached to them. And they tell you how it's insider pricing, but and if you look, it's all powered by TrueCar. Well, TrueCar is great, but let me tell you why I will never use TrueCar again. So, first of all, 
the way True Car makes their money is they actually demand a dealer pays them a fee to, to use them. True Car basically is like, we bring you business, you pay us money. And so, all, so three of the four dealers I talked to were actually the ones that reached out to me that were True Car dealers. And although it was a good way to go, it's just, it was the fact that, number one, their price is already a little bit higher just because they True Car incorporates that fee in and two, they're already less likely to negotiate just because as soon as you start negotiating, they know that they have to factor in that true car fee. So, it's good. It's a good place to start. If you really don't like hassle, I, I recommend it because you're already starting with a lower price, but they're not li likely to go as low. And, and, of course, there's a reason not every dealer even takes true car. Just because dealers know that they have to add in that fee, and it's kind of like, well... Any, any negotiation out below the true car price is eating into the profit margin, so. And of course, final thing I want to just talk about is just read the fine print when they start throwing these incentives out. You know, and they, you know, there's a Mustang I found on the dealer lot, and there's a reason I didn't buy this one. One, because it's not the spec I wanted, but two, because the price that they were trying to advertise for it, which was like 35000 for a performance package Mustang, but it sounds like a good deal, and you think, wow, that's a bargain, and they do that with all the other cars. Let me read, let me, let me just point out there's usually some fine print. One, that price, you might have to finance it for some really long period of time. You might not be able to just pay cash for that. That might not be a cash price. Because dealers know if they, you finance it through them, they make more money. And then two, usually that's, you know, a bargain basement car. And then on top of that, they're going to try to stick you with the dealer extras anyway that I told you, again, don't get because they make more money on you again. So keep all of that in mind. Those, those deals are good. Now, again, if the dealer really wants to sell the car, they put that price out, they'll still give you that price. Just keep that in mind. They might not want to give it to you right away. You're going to have to work for that price. And then on top of that, be careful when they do the 0% finance deals, because I was honestly going to take them up on one of them until my aunt read the fine print. My aunt actually was the one who recommended I go through PenFed. She told me to read the fine print, and she realized that, wait a minute, you can't negotiate the price at 0%. If you negotiate it, then they stick you with that 10% loan and make the same amount of money either way. So just be aware of the dealer tricks. If you are going to finance, I strongly recommend going through a credit union. Don't finance through the dealership just because they are going to just stick you with a massive interest rate. And then they can try to stick you with all their extras. They work hard on it. When you finance with them, then they don't even want to deal in the actual price of the car. They want to deal in monthly payment. Keep that in mind. Don't deal in monthly payments if you are going to finance through a dealer. Deal in the price. Because that monthly payment might sound good when they're like, oh, we'll take $5 off or... Or we'll give you this, it'll only add $5. You're going to pay one way or the other. So anyway, I hope you all found this video informative. Let me know in the comments section below what you all think about it. If anyone has any other good advice on how to buy a new car, definitely let me know down below. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. We do have Mustang content coming as soon as it gets here in six to eight weeks. I will keep you all informed on that as updates happen. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.